The Dozen Trivia Battle for Arizona Tournament continues with a second first round matchup, a semifinal matchup between two OG rivals from the Dozen. The Yak ranked number five, two, two and oh on the season, and the Experts ranked number eight, 10, four and oh on the season. The Yak changes final answer persons as Big Cat takes over for Stephen Che after a disastrous couple matches. Meanwhile, the Experts all timer 0 and five against the Yak, but they've never Ever played them with Fran. Can they finally get over the hump and go to the championship game, or will the Yak continue to prevail? It's the Dozen Battle for Arizona, and it all starts right now. All right, it's the Dozen Battle for Arizona. Does Steven have to eat during from the Arizona? Show? Can you just make a rule? Steven is saw. eating ice cream, but he's out of – hold on, let me do my intro. He's, we'll Why are they at the top? Why are they at the top? Because they're the higher ranked than you. Oh, my God. Only you – only you – first of all, of all teams for you to complain about, you can't complain about the only team you've never really beat. I've we've never not been on top. We've also <laughs> never played against them as a full team. Here we Correct. go. I did always see it was match, power bottom, Brandon. The dozen battle for Arizona, second first round matchup. ZD in a big upset takes down Frank the Frank Cat. Frank Cat fans really mad. I love Nick KB and Frank. I mean, like they were not good. I just I just need to say that off the top. Uh, ZD finally broke through. They won. They take on the winner of this match for the championship. This match brought to you by Sling. The Dozen Battle for Arizona Trivia Tournament is brought to you by Sling. That is right. Sling TV. It is TV that you need if you love watching live TV, but you're tired of the high prices. Time to take control of your TV experience and get Sling, folks. Sling.com slash Barstool. S-L-I-N-G dot com slash Barstool. It's the place where you can find your favorite channels, NFL Red Zone, ESPN, MTV, and much, much more. They're all there together and for less. It's the more affordable way to watch live from your TV, from your favorite entertainment and sports channels. And guess what? Watch exclusive new Barstool content for free on the Barstool Sports channel on Sling. Easy to set up, easy to use, no contracts, $35 a month. And if you sign up now, you get your first month for just 10 bucks. Whatever you're into, Sling is where you can find the live TV and sports you love all in one place. Go to sling.com slash barstool to sign up now and get your first month starting at $10. All right, thanks to Sling. Big changes for the yak. Big changes. Big Cat, you are the final answer person. Are you aware that Stephen Che is out of caramel sauce for his ice cream tonight, and he is very upset? I'm not aware. I'm trying to stay focused. Uh, I shouldn't have bet as many college basketball games as I bet to keep that focus uh, because I have all these games on right now, but I'm going to stay focused. Stephen, put the caramel behind you. you. You need to clear your head. I don't even want to hear you thinking about caramel. So if you wanted a more subdued Stephen Che, you're going to get it because I just got sniped in an eBay auction at 808 that I thought I sniped somebody. I bid with six seconds left and somebody outbid me with one second. Wow. <laughs> what was the item? Joey Galloway game issued Bucks jersey. <laughs> How much? Three figs. Three figs. Wow. Three figs. I don't like the third. <laughs> What? I'm like crying. Oh I my God. Love three figs. <laughs> I mean, it sounds um, like it was low because he mid, wouldn't have three figs. Yeah, it was low. It was like $102. <laughs> let, let me ask you a, a very important question, Stephen. Would you have paid the winning bid? Yeah, it was like five more bucks than me. So oh, yeah. that's, <laughs> that's tough. tough. That is tough. <laughs> um, Brandon. Also, I don't appreciate what you did to Frank at the Frank Hess there. Frank's table was wobbly. He did pick the wobbly table. That was yeah. tough. Um, I mean, that, North Carolina. Okay, go. Uh, Brandon. Hi. You, uh, you and PFT have never beat the Yak in any iteration with Fran or not. Well, we never played them. Have I, have I played them? No. I, I don't think so. I don't think so. So the, you're bringing up old shit. Yeah. Okay. That's fair. That's a fair rebuttal. You made a fair point just now. What's up, Fran? Hey, guys. What's up, Yak? <laughs> Uh, yeah, never been done. Do. Also, neither of these teams have ever faced ZD with Dave. So, have a first time matchup in the championship. Here we go. Uh, same rules as always. There's going to be a, an ask the audience, but we're not in front of an audience. So, that lifeline's not there. Double up any question you want, except for round six. You can't pair any lifeline with a double. And then you have a phone a friend and a uh, 
double dip. You can answer any question twice that you want as well. You must use your double at the end of the match. Here we go. Yak, you're up first every round. You're ranked fifth. Experts, you're ranked eighth. I mean, they're ranked fifth. Like, what is there to... That's fine. NBA. Oh, fine. NBA. Any doubles? No. 35 seconds. After playing his entire career for the Spurs, Tony Parker had one last stint with an Eastern Conference team in 2018-2019. Hornets. Charlotte Hornets. Final answer. Final answer. That is correct. One to nothing. Other side, one nothing early. After a stint with the Mavs, Darren Williams finished his final season in 2017 with what Eastern Conference team following a buyout? Hmm. The... He didn't... He didn't go to the Nets, right? Did he fuck around and get put on that last LeBron Cavs team? It's a good guess. Do we have a bet? Another one. Pistons. Ten seconds. You always say Pistons. Yeah, <laughs> frequently Pistons. Five. Say Cavs. You want to say Pistons or no, Cavs? Say, say Cavs. Cavs. Final answer. He did fuck around and play for that Cavs team. That is correct. <laughs> one to one. Wildly different. Giffy does love. He Giffy loves his Pistons. I do. Big Piston guy. Celebrity mashup. Do you want a double expert? <laughs> double. Yak. I assume no. Here we go. This is for the Yak. One point. Name the two celebrities. Ooh, I know inside. Joe. Joe is that Ryan Whitney. It's Ryan Whitney. She's for Tommy Smokes. I don't know who the other one is. It's obviously Joe Pesci on the inside. Fuck. That's right. Really um, my thought Ooh. was like Harry. Oh, who are you gonna say? Uh, is it Tony Romo? No, <laughs> no, no. My thought was gonna be seconds. Harry Connick. I was gonna say Harry Connick Jr. Five. I don't know. Harry Connick Jr. and Joe Pesci. Fran, tell him. Uh, I think it's my. That's Miles Teller. And Joe Pesci. Final answer. Okay. That is correct. Joe Pesci. Yeah. My, Joe Pesci very combed over hair, hairdo there. Uh, nice. Two to one. I'm, for a, I'm I'm changing my games and I'm watching. Four yeah. to one lead. Four to one lead. Oh, God. It <clears throat> is, uh, is that Joaquin Phoenix? No. No. Shoot. Michael Keaton in the middle? It is. Oh, no. Galifianakis? No. Okay, I'll it's stop. the guy from... Um, 15 seconds. Yeah. Jessica Chastain and Oscar... Oscar Isaacs? Oscar Isaacs and, and Michael Keaton. Final answer. Incorrect. No. Side. Oscar Isaac. No S at the end. Oh. And Michael Keaton. It is definitely Michael Keaton. Final answer. Damn. That is correct. I had to ding you there. It's Oscar Isaac. Wow. No S. And I don't he feel like he had a shitty grin. Great. He knew it. Great you guys should feel like assholes for even getting that right. Great defense, Che. Way to go, Che. Way I'm to go. That is top. MLB next category. Yeah. Despite Mike Trout's dominance, the last Angels player to lead the AL in home runs was in 2000. Who was it? Was it Mo Vaughn? Oh, or... Tim Salmon? Yeah, I was thinking that. Oh, fuck. I had salmon for dinner for what it's worth. Oh, no. <laughs> salmon and ice cream? Yeah, salmon, asparagus, and ice cream. That's disgusting. <laughs> what was that guy's name? Fuck. I'm blanking. <laughs> Ten seconds. Number? Do you have a number? Do you know what he looks like? We I could like, guess those two. We could guess those two. I, I like the I like the Mo Vaughn guess. Five. Red double dip. Just double dip or just a guess. Three. Double dip. Two. One. Mo Vaughn. Oh, big... hey, it's Troy Gloss. Troy Gloss? I think it's Troy Gloss. Okay. I do you have a guess? Okay. Wasn't was Edmonds on the Angels? Yeah, but I don't think he ever led the AL in home runs. Okay, go with Gloss. Troy Gloss, final answer. That's a big steal. That's correct. Three to three. My bad. Good, 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 
Good thing that we didn't use our double dip. Yeah, double dip not being used there was smart. Other side for the lead. Despite a slew of recent power hitters, the Dodgers have had two NL home run leaders since 2000, including this player in 2004. Tell me that's not Sean Green. Sean Green? I will not, I will not tell you that it's not Sean Green. Um, who's their first baseman in 2004? Sean Green's friend. Okay. Good buddy. Uh yeah, if you think if you feel strongly about Sean Green, that's good. Five, four. Sean Green, final answer. Other side, fifteen seconds. A lot of steel. What do we got? Um, I'm picturing a left-handed guy, maybe number fifteen. How would you know his number? Not his- <laughs> Tebow. Is he white? Yes. Shit, I think I'm thinking about Jim Edmonds. He wasn't five. <laughs> Fuck. Two. One. I don't know. I have nothing. Jim Edmonds. Beltre? Correct answer was Adrian Beltre. Adrian <sighs> Beltre. I think Brandon just muttered it. All right. Three to three. Yeah. Television. Uh, music next category. Excuse me. Music next category. This is for the Yak. The first three singles off Britney Spears' 1999 album, Baby One More Time, went platinum. The title track, Baby One More Time. Sometimes. And what third song? <clears throat> What third? Uh, I'm not that innocent. Not that innocent. I'm not that innocent. Which one is it? Not that innocent. Or no, I'm not that innocent. Damn you, Fuck. Jeff. I'm, you're no, saying that, no, I'm oh. not that innocent? No, what? hit me, hit me, baby, one more time. No, that that probably came out after because that was. It's the title track. That's the title track. <laughs> oh, fuck. Maybe one more time is the title track. So or double lucky, should we double lucky, dip this? Lucky, lucky. No, no, shut up. Say it, Ron. Say it. Wait. Baby, baby, one more time. No, no, say say the thing you said, Ron. I got it. Yep. The line he is saying is, is from Baby One More yeah, Time. Yeah, I'm, not that, the end of baby. I'm not that innocent is is the lyric in Baby One More right. Time. Right. It's mm-hmm. lucky, right? Uh, I'm pretty sure fun. it's lucky. So I think lucky, it's lucky too. Lucky, lucky was a fucking banger. Yeah, I think it's lucky. Lucky. Final answer. That might have come later, though. Oh. It's crazy. You drive me crazy. Oh. Yeah. Uh, no. Lucky was the yeah, eighth track on the album. I knew it wasn't Lucky. That's no, I I, wasn't Lucky on the follow up because the, that song's all about her being depressed now that she's so yeah. famous. Oh, I don't know. PFT. I think it was the first one she, she wrote. I don't know. Lucky, uh, she co wrote that. Too. Experts, chance for the lead. Three singles from Christina Aguilera's self titled 1999 album went platinum. Genie in a Bottle, What oh. a Girl Wants, and What Third Song. Is it beautiful? I don't know. Hello? Those other two. I don't know if that's was on this that album. I I'm not a bit. I was not a big Christina gal, so I'm not sure. She wasn't big either. It, I, Lady Marmalade, beautiful. I would go I, with. I would go with beautiful. Do we have a better guess? No. no. Let's just sit and marinate for a second. Genie Ten bottle, seconds. What a girl wants. You guys look great tonight as a team. Beautiful. Brandon, five, four. Beautiful. Final answer. I hate you so guys. Is it is it come on over baby? Yes, because beautiful was off of the dirty album. It's just gotta be come on over baby. Come on over baby. Four to three with the lead. Let's go. <laughs> love oh, steals Christina. tonight. Love Christina. <laughs> what? That was too much love. That was too much. Love. <laughs> what was that? That was Stella going crazy. Oh, uh Christina. television. This is for the yak. Television. This reality show debuted on MTV in 2004 with the premise of three moms attempting to convince a suitor to date their child. Oh, God. <clears throat> is, it, it, is it something like date my mom? Is it something like real obvious and stupid? But wouldn't it be date their child? <laughs> <laughs> I think date my mom was a show, though. But yeah, that doesn't make sense. Wait, I gotta go into like the annals of my brain with just. Terrible I'm thinking of like reality. eliminate, eliminate, or like uh, yeah, next, was, or second. like. <sighs> Fuck. I don't have anything. I would go with date my mom. I don't fucking know. Or. Yeah. Big cat. Date my mom. That is correct. Date my there mom. Five to four. Five to three. Go. Wait, I'm not how? Anymore loudly. 
you don't get the brand brand it's yeah it's you know the, it's actually like the kid was trying to convince the guy to go out with their mom it's a right. confusing so the question, question how they get that I mean, I, uh, I knew it date my mom. I thought maybe it was please date my mom. Debuting in 2005, this VH1 series followed the relationship between child star Christopher Knight and Adrian Curry. Uh, I don't think it's Cribs. No, it's not Cribs. I don't think it's Pent My Ride. I have no idea what this is. 2005 VH1 series relationship child star. It's not I I love New York. I don't know uh, who those people are. It's not pop up video. Five, four, three, two. I don't know. One. What's Stella said? Other side. Surreal life. Surreal life. Yes. Yeah, surreal life. Surreal life. Surreal life. I'm gonna get a treat for Stella. Is that okay? Surreal final surreal answer. Life. Yeah, you can treat your dog. Yeah. Surreal life. It was my fair Brady. My fair Brady. <laughs> okay. Sure. <clears throat> Next category is the niche round. Both have similar themes tonight. <sighs> uh, everyone got to offer up an extra one because we were supposed to do these live. Had to write a bunch of matches. Uh, Yak, you offered up two categories. Words that start with the letter D, and I believe the other one was Q. Forget what it was. <laughs> but they didn't pick Q. those. They didn't pick the other one. The one they picked was 2010's NFL Draft Top 10. For two no points chance. to make it 7-3. This is for the Yak. There were five running backs and wide receivers taken in the top 10 in 2017. Only two are still with those teams. Christian McCaffrey and who else? Um, Mike Williams, final answer. Mike Williams, Williams final answer. Final. That is correct. Seven to three. Way to go, Steven. Flex on other him. side. <clears throat> you offered up WWE. We could do overlap because we added four WWE, WCW, uh, Harry Potter, and uh, Washington Redskins 2000s, which is what what they gave you. Oh, okay. Right, seven to go. three to make it seven five. I didn't know that that was a category we gave them. Only four Redskins wide receivers caught touchdown passes in 2007-2008. Antoine randall L, Santana Moss, James Thrash, and who else? Four wide receivers. Um... She's, 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 I have to put her collar on. Sorry. Okay. Could, could have been Brandon Lloyd. What if she is telling us the answer? <laughs> 15 seconds. I'll recuse myself from any follow-ups on this one. 10 know. seconds. It's all you, brother. <clears throat> Let's go Brandon Lloyd. Final answer. Fuck. Other side. Mm. This is tough. <clears throat> this, is, this is poor. Out of this fairness, I'm recusing myself from any answers here because I obviously got up. So, Need something. Uh, guys. Five. You got anything, Che? I don't have anything. No. Keenan McCardell. Keenan McCardell. Oh, oh, damn. Oh. I didn't actually Former know. Buck. <laughs> Former Buck. Keenan McCardell. Here we go. Seven to three. Could be a big lead for the Yak or tighten the gap. Experts. Time to make the donuts. Category television is the theme. Television. Television. Here we go. For two points, Big Cat, your final answer person for your team. Brandon, your final answer person for your team. For two points, TV theme brought to you by Sling. In the top 25 highest rated non-sports TV shows from the 2001-2002 season. Jack, you are on the clock. 24. 24. 2001-2002, what the fuck? That was the first year. It didn't do great. Friends. Yep. That's so early. Friends? Friends. ER? ER's been on forever, right? I don't know. Go for it. So, no, wait. Three. ER's uh, CSI. Do that one. CSI. What's the uh, which, Was Grey's Anatomy on? No. no. West Wayne? Okay. Yeah. West Wayne? Their answer? Uh, hold on. West Wayne? Yeah. Yes. Three. Yes. 
ER. ER, final answer, yeah. Uh, um, the uh, Simpsons? But- Will and Gre- what'd you say? The Simpsons. I don't know if it did still doing great. It might have been. Yeah. I think it was. Simpsons. Fuck. Should we, we take Will and Grace from them? The Should one- we take Will and Grace? They already had they said it. I was gonna say just go with the ones that are hits, like law and order. Like just go down those. Okay. Law and okay. order. You want to go Will and Grace? I think so. Yeah, yeah let's do it. Will and Grace. Was everybody loves Raymond? Ah, fuck. Nice. Everybody That's good. loves Raymond. King of Queens. You sure? Maybe. Was, was Frazier on then? Mm, yeah, but it was about to go off. Oh. Five. It's a time that I don't. Frazier. Which one? Queens. Queens. King of Queens. Sudden death. Survivor. That's good. Final. Yes. And 60 minutes still do well? Oh, you jerk. That's yeah. cheating. That's yeah. Eating. That's, that's 60 a, that's, minutes. That's going to school. <laughs> I'm out, boys. I don't have What about eat. American Idol or some shit? Was that out? Sure. Yeah, yeah. Do it, American yeah. Idol. Big brother? That's too early. Too early. Big one? I think those started yet. I'm tapped. Big you brother? Tapped. Amazing race. Brandon, Brandon. Five, four. I think Brandon. those are too early. Big brother. Fuck. Oh. We're back in. Che, give us something. Um, I'm trying to think of things in syndication right now. Five, four, Did three. Did they ever say Simpsons? How I Met Your Mother. How I Met Your Mother. Two. How, How, I, met How I Met Your Mother. Should we go Frazier? Why yes. not? It went to 2004, but I think it was starting yep. to decline. Frazier. Seven to five. That is correct. Big one for the experts. Crazy. I liked how all I had was basically the ones that just run forever. <laughs> well, there was another Law and Order. There was Law and Order SVU on there as well. Uh, uh, NYPD Blue Dateline was on there, Brandon. Uh, Baby Bob was on there. Wow. Both of us. You could forget. Just yeah, shoot me. Those, all those other ones I don't know at all. All the CBS comedies are there. <laughs> yep, they are all there. You guys got the top. You actually got the top seven, eight. Get the top eight. Yeah, I mean, they're just the recurring ones. I don't know what Leap of Faith is. Yes, <laughs> it was really good that one season, checking I guess. Scores, um, scores. College football next category. Uh, double. Experts. I'll do a lifeline reset. Experts. You already doubled. You already doubled. You want to double this one. You already doubled. We want to double this one. The f- Experts, you, you don't f- have your double. You have your phone a friend and your double dip. Uh, Yak, you have all three. Does anyone want to double college football? I don't know if we didn't no, get no, it. no, no, no. No, no, no. This is for the yak. This wide receiver had two 50-plus yard touchdowns, one on the ground for his Big Ten school, and a 34-20 win over Notre Dame in the 06 Fiesta Bowl. Do we have an idea of what teams? I'm going to say, should I throw it out there? Sure. Yeah. Ted Ginn Jr. Brent is doing fake shit. I hate him. No. Ted, Ted Ginn Jr. Final answer. That is correct. Teddy Ginn. Wow. Five. Big Ted. Other side. This wide receiver went off for his Big 12 school in a 41 38 thrill over Stanford in the 2012 Fiesta Bowl with almost 200 yards receiving and three touchdowns. Is that Justin Blackman? Ooh, yeah that that timeline lines up. It or when when was Des? Des was before that, right? Des was before that because he was already with. Yeah, I like Justin Blackman. Justin Blackman, final eight to six, still down two. (coughs) Next category is over under over under. I think both teams have done this for. I'll re-explain what this is. I'm going to be reading you off three things. There's going to be numbers next to each. You have to tell me if the actual number is over or under. They're not. They could all be over. They could all be under, or it could be mixed up. You have a minute for this. You have a minute for this. Here we go. For the yak. Are the actual numbers over or under? Simon Cowell's age, 60 and a half. James Cameron Oscars, five and a half. Russell Westbrook, All-Star Games, 11 and a half. 
My original guess was going to be over, under, under, but I don't know the middle one specifically. James Cameron I don't... Yeah. You know Simon Cowell's age? I, he's got to be over 60 and a half. He has to be. But is that a trick? When was American Idol? Do you know Russell was... Westbrook's All-Star games? He was... 2009 draft, I think, or 2007. I think it's 2009. Has he ever been injured? No. Pat Beverly hurt him, but it was right before the playoffs. But he didn't make it as, but he didn't make year, it as like, did a rookie. He? He, didn't he didn't make it as a rookie. So, we're so I think it comes Let's down to James that. Cameron Let's Oscars. Let's start with Russell Westbrook All Star Games. What do we think? 20 seconds. Under. Okay. Under. James Cameron Oscars were going over? 10 seconds. I would go over, over, under then. All right. I feel good about that. Over. Over, over, under. I think it's triple under. I think it's – I was going to say over, under, under. How old do you think Simon Cowell is? I, I, I was thinking over. So here's, my, here's the way I do it. He's been famous for 20 years. It started in 2000, 2001. Was he in his 30s or his 40s when that show started? I think he was 40s. in his 30s. Yeah, yeah, I know, no, but I think – no, I think he, I think it's I think it's, I think it's right? over under under though. And that's Six. what Fran said, right? I feel yeah. good. James James Cameron's under Oscars. I, I think so just too. I don't know. I'll I need something. Got to be over sixty. You know? oh, over I under under over under under. Yeah. Over under under. Rowan's original guess was correct. Over under under. I'm sorry, Rowan. Sixty two years old. That's how you work things out, team. Mm -hmm. For a chance to tie Still, it up. You just stole my guess. <laughs> <laughs> we worked it out. Team, for a chance to tie it up. Your guess. Are these actual numbers over or under? Matthew Perry's age, 54 and a half. Peter Jackson's Oscars, four and a half. James Harden All-Star Game, six and a half. Okay. Harden's got to be over. You would think so. Um all right, Peter Jackson Perry, Oscars. Rose of Fame in 1995. That was 26 years ago. Was he, he 28 was, or less? He was probably like 27. Who? Matthew he Perry. Yeah. yeah, I think he was younger. I think he's young. I think he was younger when Friends started. So okay, you want so to we'll go under on that, and then Peter Jackson. He got the Lord of the Rings, right? So that's three. He hadn't done much. I mean, King Kong yeah. didn't win shit. Yeah. What else has he done besides that? I don't think he's had two. He might have had one other one. 35. Yeah, but, but what if he got multiple Oscars just for that? Does, does, does the Lord of yeah. the Rings movie win a Best Picture counts an Oscar for him? It does, right? I don't know. Is it Best Director? Is that what we're talking about here, Jeff? It's just total Oscars. So I think it counts. I think it might. Mm. <laughs> oh, did he write? He might have written those, too. 10 yeah. seconds. Well, he did. Okay. So you're thinking under, write them. over. You know, wrote the screenplay, stuff like that. No. Oh. Five. So we're I going mean, under, under, over, over? Yep. Two. Under, yeah. over, over. I think we just reverse what there were. I think we go under, under, over. We reverse what they were stuck on, Peter Jackson. I agreed with Matthew Perry, and I agreed with James Harden. So it's under, under, over. Final answer. That is correct. The wow. steal right back. Nine logic, seven. Yeah, remember you had logic. your double. Good logic. Four categories left. College hoops is the next category. Oh fuck. Jeff, we don't have to use all of our lifelines, correct? You oh. only the only one you have to use is your double. You do not have okay. to use double dip and you do not have to use your phone a friend. If you don't use it, do you lose it? <laughs> yes, yes, you do. Okay. That'd be awesome if we just collected them all and played one game with all of them. Oh, for like to, yeah, the next minute. Yeah. 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 Okay, here we go. College hoops. Do you guys want to double? No. What round are we in? Eight? How many rounds are there? Twelve. Twelve. Four left. I make that joke every time, Brandon. Yeah, I know. Twelve <laughs> rounds. I don't even react anymore. Twelve rounds. You almost got me there. All right, here we go. College basketball. Not double. 35 seconds. Aside from Carmelo Anthony, name one player from oh, each on. team in the 2003 Syracuse-Kansas national title game. Go ahead, Team Warwick. Yep. And Kirk Heinrich. Yeah. Final answer. Final answer. That is correct. A bunch of other people could have been accepted. Jerry McNamara, Nick Collison, Keith Langford. That's correct. 10 to 7. This is to make it 10 to 8. 
Wayne Four Simon. doubled. The experts. Simeon. Aside from Mecca Okafor, name one player from each team in the 2004 UConn Georgia Tech National Championship. Um, Jarrett Jack from Georgia Tech. And. Um, oh, uh, uh, Charlie Villanueva. Charlie Villanueva and Jarrett Jack. Final. That is correct. Ben Gordon, another one. Luke Schencher. Luke Schencher. Commonly used on the show. <laughs> Most commonly used college hoops player of all time is Luke Luke Schencher on this show. Uh, next category, two point lead is the city of Budapest is closest to what European country other than its own? Romania. Budapest is in Turkey. Hungary. 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 I knew that. Yep. <laughs> so so Turkey Turkey could be an answer too. Should we say Turkey and Romania and double dip? Or <laughs> KB's gonna watch this and be so mad. Uh, what else is over there? What else is over there? Talk, talk, real quick. Ma Macedonia, uh, 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 Czechoslovakia. Slovakia. Uh, uh, Not to, which one? Czech or let's double dip with that. Double dip. Let's double dip with Czech Republic and Slovakia. No, not Czech Republic. I don't think Czech Republic. Czech is Republic, it. your first guess? Yes. <laughs> Slovakia. Second guess. Is second guess. Which one? Slovakia. That is correct. You knew it had to be oh one of them. God. They break Eleven eight. How did he do that? <laughs> Other side. Get my Czech, Czech here. Republic was a terrible answer, but if you're going to guess Slovakia, you got to guess. The, the other city country. of Zagreb is closest to what European country other than its own? I don't know what country. I don't know what that is. Zagreb, that, I... is, it, is that Croatia? <laughs> yes, sure. <laughs> Did anybody just copy and paste their answers for the last one? Oh Bosnia, like, maybe? Is that, where, is that Croatia you said, PFT? Yeah. Well, if also it, double dip that, and your call a friend as well. Is Bosnia still a country? Like Bosnia is a country, yeah. And Croatia does like a C. It like cups Bosnia. Bosnia, Slovenia. Yeah, Bosnia and Slovenia are two good guesses, I think. Slovenia, yeah, Bosnia and Slovenia is what I was going to say. Oh, why don't we double yeah. dip then too and see? Y'all want to double dip no? on Bosnia and yeah. Slovenia? <laughs> yeah. Why not? Uh, double dip. Number one. Hello, Tommy. Bosnia. Oh, we're fucked. Number two, <laughs> Slovenia. That is correct. Right, we know the geography experts tonight. We know our geography. Fluffy. This is for the yak. You're going to have 65 seconds. For what? Three blank movie posters. Name the movies. Okay. You can only use your call friend here because you have to double the last category. Let's be sure not to give away the answer. So if you just know it, just say you know it. Here you go. I know number two and I know number three. Okay. Um, number one, do we know who that is? I think that I think I know number one. What do you think it is? I'm positive on number two and three. I want to say that's is that adaptation? I think you're right. Go for it then. You know what the rest are. Should we FaceTime Ken Jack? So it if I, I'm not if you're sure about number one, I'm Going with you on number one. I know number two and number three for a fact. I don't know number one for a fact. That's a guess. Then, yeah, let's FaceTime Someone Ken Jack. Someone FaceTime Ken Jack. Who's, who's most likely to pick up? Roan? He's never picked up for me. Um, Hold on. I think I have Ken Jack's number. Let me just check. I feel like he'd pick up for you, Stephen. These are three great movies, Jeff. I'm going to pay. Press. Video. <laughs> You should have called them FaceTimed. I think he's sleeping, honestly, but I don't know. Really? It's nine o'clock. He was he got a he got a COVID test earlier. I don't know. Maybe he's fucking sick. I think he's negative though. All, All right, right, 10 seconds to go with. So go ahead, Steven. Adam. All right. So number two is phone booth. Number three is John Q. Okay. Final answer. And what was the other poster? Phone booth and John Q, and then adaptation was number one. That is correct. Other side, boys. I mean, stay alive. I've never even seen that movie. I'm just a Nick Cage fan. Adaptation, great movie. Three movies. Name Fantastic the three movies. movies. Sixty-five seconds. Okay, I know two and three. Um, that's Tim Allen in the first one. Galaxy Quest. 
Yeah, Galaxy Quest, Three Kings, and Dick. Galaxy Quest, Three Kings, Dick. That is. Are you sure it's not Siriana? Correct. <laughs> <laughs> Siriana was against you guys, right? I know. Yeah, it was. In the tournament, it took down Smokin. All right, here we go. Last category. Real quick again. Automatically yeah. doubled. Shit. <sighs> it's the NFL. Kansas State. Oh, we have two point lead. Okay. Automatically doubled. At Yak, if you get this, you win the game. If you miss it, experts can win the game. Here's your question. In 2010, the Chargers had two running backs break 600 yards rushing. Ryan Matthews and this goal line back. Yeah, Stephen Che knows this one. I think I know. Uh, Mike Tolbert. Okay. Yeah, that sounds right. I was going to say about it? Neil, but he's too early. I feel like Mike Tolbert's a great answer. Who Let's ride that one to a fucking Mike's victory. Or, or is it Michael <laughs> Turner? You have time, but you are doubled. You can't. I wouldn't you, call. You just owned a friend. I wouldn't call Michael Michael Turner a goal line back. He was at one point in his career. Well, Steven, it's up to you, man. Big moment, Should Jay. Ten someone? seconds. Oh, no, we can't call someone. Fuck. What am I talking about? Trust your gut. Five, I think, it's, I think it's. I think it is um, the Falcons. Uh, Jay. Um, All right, Michael, Turner, Michael Turner. Michael, Michael Turner. Michael Turner is our final answer. You want to go Michael Turner? Is that your final answer? Steven, you no, say, like, it. I, say it. Steven, say it. No, Steven, Big Cat. I have to take Big Cat. All right, Michael Turner. That is Michael incorrect. Other it's, time. it's Michael Tolbert. Mike Tolbert? Mike Mike Turner was the burner. That's not a short yard. But yeah, Mike Tolbert. Mike Tolbert. That's our final answer. Tied up 12 12. Steven. Let's win it right here, boys. Let's do it. So why'd you second Let's guess yourself? I, why did you I, second guess yourself? I really hate I, Stephen Jay. I knew I knew that <laughs> one he time went to the yeah, he did. I mean, it's really for their first you ever win. Michael the burner the Turner. His name is the burner. PFT, we lock in. New, we need a new person. <laughs> Why did you say you knew the answer? You said you the right answer. Right time, the time was said, all right, let's go. Let's win it that. right here. Let's let's win it right here. We got this. We're going to win this. In 2013, the Bills had two running backs break 800 yards rushing. rushing. CJ Spiller and this veteran back. Was that Fred Jackson? Oh, oh. that might be Fred Jackson. <laughs> it could be. You have it wouldn't be like McGahey at that point, would it? Too late for him, right? There? I think so. Fuck. I'm gonna call it. That's too late for him there, yeah. Okay. You wanna go Fred Jackson? I think I want to go Fred Jackson. But Five. we got time. Oh, we got Fred Jackson. Yeah, Fred Jackson, final answer. The first time ever they've defeated the Yak. That is correct. <laughs> Stephen Shea tried to do a psych out on that last question, too, and I read him like a fucking book. Stephen Shea, ah! like, lit up. Karma for Oscar Isaac. Yeah, that was tough. The Oscar <laughs> Isaac. My stomach. Uh, big yeah, Cat, immediate right thoughts on the Che change there at the end. <laughs> wow. It wasn't a change. I went through my thought process. No, I you used changed. my initial you, thought you with Mike Colbert. Uh, and then, uh, no, you went with your gut, and then you just changed it. Whatever. I'm not gonna. That's, you know what? One and know, one know with Fran. One and know with better Fran. man. I'm just gonna one say good game. What's up, guys? Uh, there is there is another there is another live event coming up soon. So we'll see. Ron may have, Ron may have killed Jay. I mean, he costs us. He costs us. We played what? a great game, and he costs us because he's just he has too many thoughts. And he just did somebody put the thought of Michael Turner his head, or did Stephen Jay come up with that on his own? He did it on his own. He oh, did it no. so on each, his own. Each, so each one, one no. I thought, I thought each question was a little on the easier side, but the, each one did have another guy, and Michael Turner was the other guy that could pop into his head. To his, credit. he wasn't a goal line back. Yeah, I mean, Colbert was a guy. He, he there, was yeah. the goal line back. He, he went to Atlanta on. He was like back. kind of an unproven he guy. Uh, mute Stevens, Mike. Can we focus on no? There's no, there's no explanation. Again, Brandon, bigger man, and say that we lost. That sucks. We'll have to reconvene and talk about it, um, a.k.a. murder Stephen Chick. I thought it was I a good game say, to you guys, you guys are a good trivia team. No, I can't not. say where Stephen the next Chay live Chay event is, but we'll Stephen, see how the Stephen Chick is, is a mental event. head case that chokes at every big moment. He's Mike Tolbert falling down at the one. And, again, I'll be the bigger man and say that whatever. It's a team we win as a team and we lose as a team. But Stephen Chick is the anchor that – just completely sinks me and Roan as human beings. As, 
as the final answer guy, I'm disappointed in the lack of ownership there. Oh, shut the, the fuck up. Shut <laughs> the fuck up. I literally asked you for the final answer. You said Michael Turner. I did a great job as final answer guy. A great job. I switched things that we needed to switch. I used reasoning when we need to use reasoning. Even again, we win and lose as a team. But Stephen Shea, I listen. I wish Stephen Shea would just do what his fucking idol has done and take off his shirt and leave forever. <laughs> Redemption, if not soon, definitely in a, uh, I, I, I can't give details. Very big live event. You guys will be back. You'll play ZD at the live event. The, the loser here was going to play ZD, and the next one changed things up. Other side, Yak, I'll end it quick, but Brandon, Brandon versus Dave. No, PFT no, and Brandon no. as well, but the rivalry right now is... The experts... Brandon, Brandon gets to talk to Dave for the first time in like a month. That's the biggest <laughs> The experts are against ZD. That's what's happening. Not Brandon versus Dave. Okay. Now, and Steph, as an expert, a member of the experts, I will freely admit this is a Brandon versus Dave show. Well, we just won as a team, and we're going to go into the next game yeah. as a team. Yeah, but Dave doesn't hate me and Fran. <laughs> Yet. Uh, we'll report back tomorrow if Roan chases down Che when he comes <laughs> into the office. Um, not, to pick right. on, not to pick on Steven while he's down, but he also missed the one about Keenan McCardle. He did. I did. That's a funny way to to, to spin zone your own to question. spin the, the no, his, no, 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 no. his his niche yeah, question. Experts versus eating for the championship of the battle for Arizona. We'll talk to you next time.